Hey, it's been a while since I did this series. What is going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. And yes, before we get started with this episode, we did move into a new house. I will be doing a room tour whenever I can. Rumble's done getting settled and all that stuff. So yeah, that's been the secret that I've been hiding after the the truckers at Kansas. So yeah, I moved into a new house. It's my new room. I'll be doing a room tour soon. So hopefully you guys enjoy something new. I'll do a room tour soon. Now that. With that being said, let's begin. So the biggest news of today, besides Kyle Bush finally winning in 2020 in the Cup Series, is the other Kyle. If you guys don't know, Kyle Larson's back in NASCAR next year. He got reinstated and will be driving for the number five Hendrick Motorsports team. He'll be driving the fourth car. Hendrick Motorsports bring back the five. However, it does not mean the 88 is retired. It is currently not used. Like, it is not used for a while. And I think Hendrick could use it anytime or unless a team buys the 88 or something like that. Something like that. So, yeah. And the title, and you read the title right. This is the end of the Kyle Larson saga of the Racing Topics of the Emperor's series. I know I only did two parts, was when he was fucked back in April, when he was fucking himself, and all that. So, how do I feel about, I mean, because I'm a Hendrick Motorsports fanatic, in case some of you guys did not know, I had to make this video. As well. So my personal opinion about Kyle Larson and Hendrick Motorsports is that it's pretty nice that Hendrick Motorsports have always wanted Larson with them. And finally, Hendrick Motorsports finally hired um, Larson. And it's good that we have a new Hendrick Motorsports driver. I'm happy about that. Like, congratulations, Kyle Larson. Welcome to the Henry Porter Sports, brother. And all that. However, like, the, the thing is, like, throughout this time, when there was talks about Larson coming back to NASCAR, there was, like, some times that I'm like, why does Larson really need to come back to NASCAR? He's happier on dirt. And he's better on dirt. And he grew up on dirt and all that stuff. Like, I'm not, I don't really understand why. Like, do, did he really want to come back to NASCAR? I know that sounds dumb, but, I mean, come on. He's one of the dirt, uh, one of the greats on dirt of this era. And all that stuff. Like, how many dirt races did he win? 31? And, like, finished top five all by one? I believe, like, I only watched The World of Outlaws. Sprint car, uh, sprint car series highlights. So yeah, I don't know. I know he's won like the the Indianapolis Dirt Race after the Indy 500, like in Hoosier. Was it the Hoosier 100? And won some USAC races and other and other sprint car series, other midget series, all that stuff. Like, does he really need NASCAR? Like. I know NASCAR pays more, but like Larson's so much better on dirt. Like, I don't know. I do, like, don't get me wrong. Of course, I'm welcome my arms back to Larson. However, sometimes I'm like, yay, Larson's back, and other times I'm like, I don't know. However, I do know he learned his lesson. Like, he's been through a lot during. And after the racial slur incident, and, and yeah, and I'm very happy that he learned this lesson. I hope to God he does not do it again. I really hope to God that everybody in NASCAR can learn from what Kyle Larson did. And I really hope that Kyle Larson's kids learn from their father's mistakes. In case if I did not mention uh, back in April that the thing I was concerned about, one of the things that I was concerned about is Kyle Larson's son, Owen. What happened was that Owen was just starting to race. 
and then Larson said the N-word. And then one of the first things that popped up, like the day after, I'm like, oh shit, how is this going to affect Owen Larson's career? And if he ever does a racing career, because Connor Daly back in 2018 at Road America, um, he was about to go race in the Xfinity race at Road America. His first NASCAR race with Lily Diabetes, and like a few days before Road America, all of a sudden there was news about Derek Daly saying the N-word back in the 80s, and then Lily Diabetes left. So yeah, I had flashbacks about that. And during the time Larson was gone, besides racing, he was helping the black community, attended George Floyd's funeral from what I heard. And it's great that Larson has learned from his awful mistake. For anyone that thinks the N word is just a word, that just sounds ignorant. I do believe Larson is not racist. It's just one of the mo it's just the most stupidest thing that Larson has ever done in his life. And I'm very glad he learned from that. Unfortunately, we'll never forget. Because nobody wants to forget a bad moment, but I'm just glad Larson learned his lesson. But there are problems about it. Number one, it's over height. Because I mean as much as I'm happy that he's in Hendrick. Sometimes, like, let me get, let me, let me get it sinking and all that stuff. It's, it's overhyped because how NASCAR fans are. I don't know, that sounds like a controversial opinion. I know it might get attacked, but sometimes I just think it was just overhyped and all that stuff, like, and all that. Number two, I hate the fact that it was called the, the worst kept secret in NASCAR. First of all, it was predictable as soon as... Chase Biscuit was going to the 14 and like when David Land did that Lumar video I'm like yep Larson goes to Hendrick so it's not really worst kept secret it was pretty much predictable the worst kept secret in NASCAR is Brian Francis drug addict uh, drug addiction and how NASCAR kept it silent that's still pathetic that NASCAR did that and the third and final thing is that oh the Oh boy, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but the people who are happy about Kyle Larson coming back, some of them are the same people who actually hate Bubba Wallace for standing up to what he believes in, standing up against racism. So what Kyle Larson has done is nothing to them, but when Bubba wants to stand up against racism, stand up with black lives and all that stuff. Even drove a black, uh, black Lives Matter car, which is awesome. And all of, us, all of a sudden, people hate him for that? So, you know, NASCAR fans are the most fucking hypocritical fans of all time. There's a reason why I say NASCAR fans are the worst fans in motorsports. And one day, I will do a goddamn video about it. Like... I just think, like, the people who are excited about Larson and hating on Bubba for it, it's just fucking hypocritical and stupid. So, it's okay, so, it's like, so it's okay for Larson to say the N-word, but it's not okay for Bubba to stand up to what he believes in. Are you kidding me? It's just stupid that those fans are still a thing. It's just so pathetic. You want to know why NASCAR fans are are terrible? Look at those fans. And they're the same people who think, oh, oh, the N-word is just the word. Everybody gets offended about everything nowadays, but the snowflakes. Maybe you guys don't know the fucking history about the black community and the racism stuff like that. So if I say the, the C word, a slur to the white people, that's nothing. Or, oh, I might get my ass kicked or I might die. But if someone says the N word, apparently those people think it's nothing. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. So I'm sorry for going off topic. I'm sorry this is like the worst video ever. I don't really care at this point. It's just, that's just, like everything in NASCAR kind of this year. And previous years and all that stuff. And how the fan base is. It's just sucking the joy out of me. Of watching the sport. I don't know. I'll talk about that in a different video. So my true opinions is that. 
it's great that Kyle Larson's back. I really hope he can win races for Hendrick Motorsports because I will always support my favorite team of all time, Hendrick Motorsports. I grew up with Hendrick Motorsports. I grew up with supporting Hendrick Motorsports. That's what I meant to say. And I'm not, and I'm not gonna like hate on one guy just because like, I'm still fucking disappointed and pissed that he said the N word stupidly. However, I will forgive him and give him a second chance as well because I'm very sure he learned his lesson at the wake up call. And I think everybody, not only for NASCAR drivers, NASCAR workers, I think the NASCAR fans should learn from this. What would happen if you get caught saying like a slur? You will get caught one day and it's gonna fuck you up, fuck your job, like fuck everything and all that stuff. Don't be Kyle Larson, folks. Learn from it. As long as Kyle Larson, everybody learns from it, hey, that's great. So yeah, I'm sure this video is probably nothing to anybody. But I I, I did my best. I'm not perfect. I don't want anybody to expect me to be perfect. No, but I just, I just hate how Master Friends are this year. It's just embarrassing that that happened. I don't honestly, I don't know what to say at this point. So good for Larson for coming back to the to NASCAR. But honestly, I just prefer him on dirt better. He's more fun on dirt. Also, Hendrick Motorsports has better equipment than Chip Ganassi. So hey, maybe he can do better at Hendrick Motorsports. And also, if you're gonna support Bubba, uh, no, sorry, <clears throat> if you're gonna support Larson coming back. Stop shitting on Bubba Wallace for no reason. It's pathetic. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves for being against Bubba Wallace for no reason and being against him just because he wants to stand up for what he believes in. This is nothing political and all that stuff. It's a human decency. It's about human decency. It's a human rights issue. Nothing political. And if anybody's against Bubba for standing up to what he believes in, then you're a piece of shit. If you're gonna hate on Bubba for that, you're a piece of shit. If you hate on Bubba so much, if you guys think Bubba is a small, the juicy smaller guy, then you're a fucking idiot. And you get your fucking brain checked, honestly. So yeah. Hell, even Bubba Wallace supported Kyle Larson's apology. Like, hello? What the hell, NASCAR fans? What do you guys want? Fuck. Yeah, one day I will talk about the NASCAR fan base. I will. I will be ready, but yeah. So yeah, welcome back, Kyle Larson. Hope you learned your lesson. Welcome to Hendrick Motorsports. So, Kyle Larson will be in the five. Chase Sully will be in the nine. William Byron will be in the twenty-four, and Alex Bowman will be in the forty-eight. Hopefully, my Hendrick guys go out there compete for wins and all that stuff. Can't wait. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Or, so yeah, I know this is, I know this might be the worst video for a lot of you guys, but whatever, I tried. It's 12.33, so yeah. I wanted to do a video about it today after it was announced, but I was busy. Like, my family and stuff, like, moving more stuff and all that. Been living here 10 days, and my room is bigger. The house is just amazing. So yeah. So that's going to do it for today's video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Ianpress25 and Ianpress48 underscore IT. Like my Facebook page, enascar 48 Nation Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. Follow me on Reddit and all that stuff. Thank you all so much for supporting e Nation, And I will see you guys in the next video. And I will be doing a room tour soon, so stick around. Happy Halloween, stay safe, social distance. If you're going to protest about black lives, do not fucking ride. Do not cause violence. Do not destroy property. That's fucking dumb. Okay? So, yeah. Thank you all for supporting E-Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.